Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, we are going to set up guest Wi-Fi on OpenWRT 21.02. Previously, I have a video for guest Wi-Fi on OpenWRT 19.7. And if you are using the old version, you can follow this video to set up your guest Wi-Fi. So, the purpose of this setup is to secure your network and creating a Wi-Fi network where the device can accept the internet but they won't be able to communicate to your internal devices and your internal network for example DVC. So let's get started. For this video I'm using the Linksys WRT 1900 AC V1 and we do have a tutorial video on this device on the installation and configuration. So let's go to the network interfaces and begin the installation. So first of all, we are going to create a new interface. The name will be Get Wi-Fi. The protocol, it will be static address. And then for the device section, we can just leave it blank. All right, hit create interface. Now we are going to specify a new subnet for our Get Wi-Fi network. So I will pick 192.168.8.1 and the subnet mark will be 255.255.255.0 which means slot 24 so we're going to have 255 IP addresses the IPv4 gateway it is our one interface and then for the rest of the configuration from here I will leave it blank Right, so on the advanced settings, so right here we have the use custom DNS server. So we're going to use a.a.a.a .a 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 and hit the plus button and then 1.1.1.1 and hit the plus button. So this is Google Public DNS server and this is Cloudflare Public DNS server. On the firewall settings, create or assign firewall zone we are going to create a new one so it will be guest wi-fi hit enter and then we want to set up our dhcp server for the new interface so it will start from 100 and end at 150 so right here if you want to limit the client connected to your guest wi-fi at the same time we can control the leases of your GSCP server. So for example, I want only 20 device connected to my guest Wi-Fi at one time. So let's say we want to limit at 120. And then we will only have 20 IP address assigned to our client. And the rest of the device, they will need to stay in the queue or they won't receive an IP address and can't connect to the guest Wi-Fi. Alright, so that's it. So let's click save and then save and apply. So we have successfully created our guest Wi-Fi and let's move on with the network and then wireless. With the default configuration, all the wireless interfaces or all the wireless radio are disabled. So we need to turn it on. First click the enable button and then Right here we have the 5 GHz radio and AC and the 2.4 radio BGN. So we're going to click the edit button right here. For the operating frequency, we can modify it later. It doesn't matter. So we need to pay attention to the ELS ID. I will call it uh, OpenWRT guest. For the network interface, it will be guest Wi-Fi. All right. Please only select the guest Wi-Fi interface and then on the wireless security since it is a guest Wi-Fi I will just leave it at open network or you can specify a simple password for it on the advanced settings we want to turn on isolate clients because we don't want the device in the same guest network communicate with each other all right so that's it and now we all set uh, if you have yet to configure your Wi-Fi before, you will need to specify the country code and some parameter right here. But I think we are fine and can just click the save button. And then save and apply. 
So in this video, I'm configuring the GATS Wi-Fi for the 5 gigahertz radio. So now let's click the edit button. If you read here, the input and output option set the default policy for traffic entering and leaving this zone. So for the input, we set it to reject means no traffic going to this zone. But for output, we need to change it to accept because we want the traffic from this zone, from this GET Wi-Fi to go out to the internet via the one interface or via the one zone. So it should be accept and for the forward, it will be reject. And in here, allow forward to destination zone, we will select one because we want the traffic from the GET Wi-Fi to be able to forward to our one zone in order to go out to the internet. So if you have time, you can spend some time and checking out this advanced configuration. But we are all set now and we can click the save button. And then save and apply. So now we can consider everything is ready and we can try to test it on the phone. So let me go back to the overview section and then let's have a check. Alright, so I'm using my Xiaomi smartphone and let's go to the Wi-Fi configuration, turn it on and I should be able to find the OpenWRT guest. Alright, here the, we have OpenWRT guest and we are still in the process of obtaining IP address. And let's see. Alright, so as you can see, we received no IP addresses from the GSCP server because we have yet to configure the firewall rules. So we will need to do that right now. On the firewall page, let's go to the traffic rules and then add a new rule. So the name is will be guest GSCP. Alright, so the protocol for GSCP is will be UDP. So let's unselect the TCP and then for the sort zone, it will be the guest Wi-Fi. For the destination zone, it will be divide or this router and the destination port, it will be 67 and the action is accept. All right, so let's click the save button. We are going to add another rule, which is allow DNS for the guest Wi-Fi. So it will be guest and then DNS, the protocol, it will be TCP, but I will just go with TCP and UDP. The sub zone will be guest Wi-Fi and the destination zone will be device input. And the destination port, it will be 33. So if you are configuring your DNS server in a different port, make sure you select the correct port right here. And then action, accept, and that's it. So let's check it from get Wi-Fi, get Wi-Fi 33, 67, all good, safe and apply. So now let's back to the font and let's try to connect to OpenWRT, get and perfect. We are successfully connected to the get Wi-Fi. So let's check it. The IP address is 192.168.8.132. And let's see if we are able to connect to the internet. So let me open speedtap.net. Alright, and let's go. Right, perfect. So we have the internet connection. Now I want to check something. So first of all, I will see if I'm able to accept to the Lucy page or not because I want that my get device won't be able to do that. Let's try with 192.168.2.1, which is my router IP address. This side can be reached, this is good. So now let's try another thing, which is the added edge connection. So let me open terminals and 192.168.8.1. Uh, the username will be root, hit OK. And as you can see, connection refills, so error code 1 and error code 111, which means the connection to the router via the added edge is also not possible. 
So far, we have successfully configured a guest Wi-Fi network where the devices can only communicate with the internet and it won't be able to communicate with your internal devices. So, if you want to secure your firewalls and you want to add another layer of protection, you can try to create this simple rule. So for example, you can go and click the add buttons and then in the name, you will say guest log or the protocol will be TCP and UDP. The short zone will be this guest Wi-Fi and the destination zone will be device input and the destination port will be any. We mean all the action will be drop and hit save so the order will be like this so we allow gscp for the guest which means on port 67 allow dns on port 33 and then block all of all the traffic so actually i try this guest wi-fi network with another router running open wrt 21.02 and for that router Unfortunately, when I create a guest GSCP and guest DNS, the device can still communicate with my router, which means it can still communicate with 192.168.2.1 right here, and this can establish the added edge connection. So I need to block all the other traffic by this guest block all. However, when I try on the Link CWRT 1900AC, like this device, by default, the new firewall rule will block all kind of communication from my device to the Lucy page or to the router added edge. So we actually don't need this one, but in your case, maybe you will need it. So that's all. Thanks for watching and I will be see you all in the next video. Bye bye.